blinking. I forgot how to talk. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Just tell me when to. Okay, I'll be like. Okay. <laughs> Is it on? I wish it on. Don't edit this out. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Nearly 2.2 billion people travel by air every year. That's 22.2 million flights. Only 83 of those 22.2 million flights have been declared missing. So what makes this one so popular? On March 8, 2014, Flight 370 was traveling from Malaysia to Beijing, China. Less than an hour into the flight, when the plane was switching over from Malaysian air control to China's air control, it vanished. It disappeared into thin air. There were 239 passengers <coughs> on board, 12 crew members, 227 passengers. 150 Chinese, 38 Malaysian, 7 Indonesian, 6 Australian, 5 Indians, 4 French, 3 American, 2 Canadians, 2 from New Zealand, and 2 from Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This first one, his name was Philip Wood. He was one of the three passengers from America. His mother states, I know in my heart that Philip is with God. Before Philip left to go to the airport, he took off his watch and his wedding ring and gave them to his wife. He told his wife that if something were to happen to him, his wedding ring goes to the first son, because they had two sons, goes to the first son that gets married, and his watch goes to the second son that gets married. One of the youngest on the plane was only 23 months old. I don't know how to say that. Wayne. He was returning from a holiday with his mother and father, and two of his grandparents were also on board. One of the, the oldest passenger was 79. He was a Chinese artist traveling home from a culture ex exhibition. His calligraphy had been shown in dictionaries and exhibitions around the world. Paul Weeks was from New Zealand. He was a former soldier who had moved to Australia after the earthquakes in Christchurch. He left behind two sons and a wife. He's the one that they like really focused on in the Netflix show. Okay. With such a great mystery, there's lots of theories. One of the most famous theories was that the plane flew a suicide route. Salon.com says that Jeff Wise, an aviation journalist, thinks that Zaharia Ahmed Shah is believed to have purposely drowned the plane. They think he told his co-pilot to go to leave the cockpit and then lock the door behind him, taking the plane down and drowning it. Another popular theory was that Russian, three Russian hijackers on board the plane hijacked the flight to distract from the annexation of Crimea. However, according to en.av.com, it's very unlikely that, the, the, that it was terrorists or hijackers because nobody's taking credit for it. And that's very unlikely because usually they take credit for it and there's no evidence of foul play. One of the craziest ones was that it was like abducted by aliens and after the flight disappeared, CNN posted a poll asking readers what they thought happened. WNYC Studios states that 9% of responders thought it was very likely that the plane was abducted by aliens, time travelers, or beings from another dimension. If you want to learn more, you can watch the new documentary on Netflix called The Plane That Disappeared. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs>